Yo, I bet you guys didn't know this, but in my past life before cycling, I used to be a DJ. Let me show you. Oh my goodness, that sounds terrible. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a squealing brake rotor and pads, and we're gonna be fixing it using this amazing stuff that I got off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. It is called Squeal Out. So first things first, what causes your disc brakes to squeal? Well, there are a few reasons why this could be the case. One of them could be that perhaps there is slight movements upon heavy braking in the pads that is causing some sort of harmonic squealing. Another reason could be that maybe you didn't properly bed in the brakes when you first installed everything and then so you might have some sort of glazing on the rotors. But generally speaking, the most common case for brake squealing is that your pads or your rotors have some sort of oil contaminants on them that is causing the squeaking to happen. But do not fret, we do have a fix for that. So we're gonna be using this squeal out stuff here that I got from Amazon, like I said. And how this works is inside of here, there's this really cool paste. And with this paste, there are tiny micro abrasions that we're gonna apply to the rotors that is gonna help score up the pads and the rotors together to remove all of that squealing and glazing so that we can have the proper amount of force uh, that we should have with our disc rotors. Now with the directions, they do say to stir up the paste before you apply it. And you don't wanna to apply too much over the uh, rotors. And also too, they recommend that you only do one wheel at a time because you will lose up to 80% of the braking force during the application and bedding in process as well. And then once we do all that, then we'll, we can go ahead and wipe down uh, the surfaces of the rotors and the pads using isopropyl alcohol, and then we should have the proper braking force. And I already know that this stuff works, um, as I ramble on here. I already know this stuff works because I've already done this to the rear uh, disc brakes, and they work as intended with no squealing. So let's get started. Oh, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this squeal out stuff on our rotors and our pads. Now, the directions say that we're supposed to mix up the paste just a little bit uh, before applying it. And it also recommends that we use gloves. So we have some gloves here, you know, because got to be safe. Safety first. Got to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and apply a little bit of this paste here. All right. We will stir it up as directed here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ugh. All right. So now that we got that little bit stirred up here, we can go ahead and apply this to our rotors. Now, if you really want it to be a stickler for maintenance and cleanliness, all that stuff, you could technically wipe down the rotors and the pads before you do this step here. You could get some isopropyl alcohol, you can get some sanding paper and do all that, but I'm not gonna do that because I am a lazy scumbag and I've already done this method on the rear disc. Um, I didn't clean up or anything, I just applied this and everything worked as intended. So anyway, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll dab a little bit on our hands here. Now, we don't wanna be too liberal with this stuff here. We want just enough to cover the rotors and pads as well here. So we're gonna get this worked in here like so, making sure we are getting both sides of the rotors here. And again, like I mentioned in the intro, uh, what this paste is, is inside the paste is a bunch of micro abrasions that we're gonna be using to help score up the pads and the rotors so that we can gain back uh, the, the braking force that we should have had we not had any contaminants or oils or if I actually bedded in the brakes properly when I first installed this. I gotta tell you, man, like, freaking disc brakes, man. I should have just stuck with rim brakes here. Just as you guys told me. All right, this might be too much. All right, so we're gonna get this in here, here. All righty. More, all right. So now the next step here is we're going to uh, work on uh, squeezing the levers here so that we can start to kind of break some of the stuff into the pads, which we're gonna do right now. You can kind of hear it. And even already, you can already hear that the squealing is disappearing here. We're just gonna work this in here like so. And yeah, the noise you're hearing, that's the micro abrasions cutting into both the rotors and the pads to get rid of that squealing noise here. All right. All right, so we'll do this a little bit more. And then uh, the next step, guys, is gonna to be to take this out on the road 
and um, sort of break in the pads as well. I'm probably not gonna show you that because you guys know what that looks like, but like I said before, you're only supposed to do one brake rotor at a time uh, for your own safety. Make sure you do this right at your own risk. So let's continue. Alrighty, I guess I am gonna show you the process here out on the road. So like I said, we've applied the paste to uh, the front rotor here. And now, um, yeah, we're just gonna go to take it for a spin around the block to sort of work that paste into the rotors and the pads. And like I said, make sure you're only doing this on one brake at a time. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna film this because I'm gonna need both hands uh, to brake, but yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, let's get cracking. Alrighty, like I said, we're just working in the paste into these pads here. Do -do 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 -do. Slowly, slowly. Try not to kill myself here. Hey, we finally got a nice day here. Alrighty, just gonna slow that down. Alright, now we don't want to go to a complete stop here. Um, it's no different than when you are initially bedding in your pads here. Um, also too, guys, um, I actually installed uh, a dead cat on my GoPro. So I'm hoping that there's a lot less wind noise when I'm out riding here. I still have to test it out some more, but yeah, hopefully the audio quality is much better than what it's been in the past here. Man, I look dark in this in this video, yo. Slow down. You hear that, guys? No squealing, no squealing. There's no squealing at all. Just gonna work that in there. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna do this a few more times, but yeah, let's continue. Alrighty guys, so we have finally taken our bike around the block to make sure that we were working in this paste into the brake uh, rotors and calipers. So the final step in this process guys is to wipe off the extra um, paste on here using um, a clean cloth or a paper towel and a little bit of isopropyl um, alcohol. One other important thing to um, make sure that you do too is to make sure to remove all of the paste in the holes of the rotor as well. Um, as recommended, you don't want to have any extra paste anywhere uh, on your rotors here. Now, I'm not going to show you guys that because you guys obviously know how to clean off your rotors and brake pads, um, but that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm going to check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.